This is the Whitney Fairbrother School in Roseberry, Idaho. I'll read this little <clears throat> sign here that they put up here as they restored this school. It was moved to this location from uh, uh, about two miles west of Lake Fork, Idaho, heading toward McCall. To this current location. One of the people from the Historical Society here, they were good enough to give me a tour and a little bit of information, and she pointed out this little pump that was part of the school in its previous location. You'll notice the original floors, the old desks. This is what it looked like before it was moved. So it was in pretty sad, sad condition. Some of the little autographs from 1908, 1909. Autograph books. And the Roseberry School, which no longer stands uh, in its, in its uh, current location. It's now a home in Donnelly and been restored. And this school is no longer standing. It was here in Roseberry, made out of brick. And I was told because of the high water table that, that it eroded and basically fell apart. old map of Idaho, all the school leaders, President Lincoln, oh and I have to point out the paddle, <laughs> here's the paddle and some chalk. like the old boiler maybe <clears throat> or stove I suppose that kept the place warm pretty neat old schoolhouse and this is what it would have looked like from desks thought these teacher rules were pretty interesting. Pretty strict rules for teachers. Next to this building is the teacherage where teachers would have lived. I'll walk over there. that it's going to be restored. Hopefully they'll get started on it this year. So it was moved to this location from uh, corner of Farm to Market Road and the highway. So it was there on that north east corner I believe. Moved to this location and it's going to be restored. Built in 1915 it says. I don't know if you can see it or not. A lot of old houses and old buildings, old barns in this valley. I'll try to get to some of them. That home over there was painted recently. It's not open for tours today, but later in the year, <clears throat> there's a home way over there in the distance. It's a Sears Roebuck home. In other words, it was a kit home. It was built right there. The 
over to the general store. <clears throat> Says on the general store, established 1905. too intrusive here. Wow. Crocs and a butter churn. a coffee grinder, McDougal and Scott. Wow. It says General Merchandise Store, 1911 B.H. McDougal and Clerk Ellie Scott. Pills and medications. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that washing machine. <laughs> this is incredible. Check bread. Wow. Bill's brothers. It's incredible. You like it, huh? Oh, I love so it. So a lot of this collection was put together by Frank Elt. Frank Elt, okay. On the store. Um, after the McDougals? After the McDougals, right. And he put together some of the things came from the McDougal store. Um, but a lot of them... So these are the Finnish cultural exhibits here in Roseberry, Idaho. There was a lot of Finnish people that settled in this area between here and McCall at one time. This is the, the village, the Finnish village. Quite a view out here. Probably a garden. And in a lot of situations, it would have been a little cemetery family plot. Look at the window. Pretty rough living. If you don't know any different, 
guess it's pretty good. Actually kind of a beautiful little cabin. Handmade tables over there. Trunk. Pretty incredible. Like it's been added on to. Maybe that's the living quarters or woodshed. Beautiful little valley here. This is pretty neat. Early 1900s and bandstand. There was a big hotel at one time right on this location, it says. It's a shame it's not still here. Here's the school I filmed earlier. And over here is the general store, museum, and church.